Okay, today I'm going to tell you how to run Windows on your DS. Now, before you just instantly exit the video and go, oh, that's stupid, Windows can't be run on DS, it's not powerful enough. Have you heard of a program called DSX86? You might have, you might not have. Well, practically what it is, is it's this neat little program which allows you to run DOS on your DS. And obviously, the early versions of Windows well, they use DOS to run. So as you can see, I've got my R4 up. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. There's my R4. Now, go into it and go down to a program called, there it is, uh, DSX86. Post a link to get it, and, and that will have the instruction now to install it and everything in the, in the, it used to be sidebar, but now it's bottom bar, I think. Um, run it, and as you can see, it boots up like a DOS. Yes, um, it's got a neat little keyboard down there. You can change the zoom, zoom mode, and scale mode, and even jitter mode, which is a nice little thing. Now, I've already installed Windows on it, so I need to type in C. Uh, dot dot slash Windows. If you don't know what I'm doing right now, you'll learn how to if, if you've ever used DOS or if you just want to, you know, learn how to use this. Now, I'll just run Win on it. Okay. Oh, I've got to, oh, I forgot. You've got to set the version of DOS to 4 because d Windows won't run on a DOS version lower than 4. There we go go there's the boot up screen you can only see half of it. So I, um, there if you cannot see it right now is the is the like early version of file explorer and it actually works like a okay see if I press down it'll go down. It, you can't um at the moment you cannot use I'm sorry to say you cannot use the mouse on this you can on other games, in games and stuff, but for some reason the mouse is not working for Windows. I'll show you something interesting to run on it, like say Paint. Now this is in zoom mode, so you cannot see the full screen at once, and you'll have to scroll across like that to see everything. There are other modes like Scale, where it fits everything on the screen at once but is very blurry and not very good quality especially for a 640 by 480 screen which is what Windows runs on and then there's jitter which constantly makes the lines turn on and off to make it seem like there's a high res screen that the DS has it works a little but it doesn't work too good for text anyway I'll just go back to um, zoom now you obviously cannot use paint at this moment because in this early version the mouse doesn't work and well there's no point. So I can so I'll just go Alt F to bring down the file menu. As you can see there the file menu. I, there we go, got that. You can use the keyboard at the bottom of the screen or you can figure configure the buttons on the DS to act like keys on the keyboard. Of course, oh, another one you might like is Write, which is the early version of WordPad. And I'll just find that. Uh, where is it? It's a bit hard to find on the small screen. There we go. Okay. See, there's Write. And if I just type in random stuff, I can't actually see the keyboard at the moment because I'm holding it towards the camera. But as you can see, it does random things. Actually, if I hold it up here, then I can see the keyboard in the thing. Okay, oh. Eh. Trying to hit Alt. Oh well, it's hard to do, but you can go Alt F and you can save it and all sorts of stuff. But at the moment, I'm just going to go straight to Exit. You can all, you and it goes, you want to save changes to Untitled in this little box, and it's got Yes, No, and Cancel, and you know all that sort of stuff. I'll go no, uh, and also it has its um when things don't work on it, it has its sound that Windows has. Except in the older versions, it's this. 
anyway. So I'll go no. Oh, how do I select no? N. Oh, hit N. Um. Uh, what's another thing you might like? Well, there are lots of things that you can run on it, but I might exit Windows now. Um. So to do that, I'll go from the main thing, Alt S F, which brings down the menu, which is called Special. And in the menu special, I don't know if you can see down there, but there's there's a button down there that says um, end session. When I click on that, it'll ask me, "Do you want to end session?" Which is, are you sure you want to end your Windows session? And practically the same thing as, "Do you want to turn off?" You go, "Okay." Ah, damn, I'm not very good with it. Okay, now I'm just restart my day asset because I've already got it to automatically navigate to my games and I will show you DSX running something called Wolfenstein 3D yes it's a it's a, an old game you can also run June, you can run 2, June 2 all these old as games practically anything that will run on a 286 processor will run on it not everything of course but most things Okay, Wolfenstein 3D, and as you can see, I am in the DSX86. I'm not just pulling a leg or anything. I've chosen Run. Uh, click another button. Uh, I can't see what buttons I'm hitting. I've got it. And the sound's not very loud for the Sound Blaster, I think it is, but um, but it still actually works for PC speaker it's very very loud I'm sure many of you who haven't heard Wolfenstein would love that music but you obviously probably can't hear it okay Again, I'm in zoom mode, so you can't actually see the full screen at the moment. But okay, yeah, you've got the the basic idea of that. Yes, and well, that's how to run DOS games and even Windows on your DS.